Welcome back to my tutorial. Now we'll be making a, uh, we might as well call it like a hardware ID generator. So this usually comes in handy with um, licenses and so forth. Same as our um, login form, how we did a, how we made a um, license. And the first line, instead of being Mashpad, you can make it yeah hardware ID. So if someone's hardware ID equals the hardware ID generated in the label, then they can use the login, your application. They can actually log in. So first of all, we're going to go into form load, the sub, and uh, we need to make a, a reference to management class, system management. So you'll find that in .NET. So you click on it and press S, and just scroll down a little bit further until you find system.management. Like right there, okay. Now you can import it or not, whereas I don't really bother doing that, so no need for it. So, next we need to do is we make a function function hardware ID. By ref obj as object. Now the object is going to be the label that we just put on there, label 1. So if you come down, uh, I also dim CPU info as string. So you just go hardware ID equals CPU info. And then we go obj equals hardware ID. So when we call the function, say from form load, as the form's loading, you want to generate the label 1 as your hardware ID, so when the person goes to log in, then it can check to make sure that the line 1, the hardware ID you've put in the license, is equal to what's being generated in the, in the label. And if it doesn't equal that, then they can't use it. But you can refer back to my other tutorial for that. <coughs> So, <clears throat> we call hardware ID, sorry about that, hardware ID, label 1. Now you need dot text, whereas I usually put it up in here. But anyway, so now let's get on with the hardware ID. So you want to dim, let's just say MC as new management dot management class whatever that is right there management class and that will be win32 process then we want to dim mock as doesn't matter what you can name whatever you want doesn't really matter Management object collection is equal to MC dot get instances. Now we're going to do a for each, so that's pretty much going to be for each part. Is equal to so for each, uh, let's just say mo, which is pretty much like we're dimming something else. It's a word we're going to refer to later on as management <coughs> management uh, what was it? management objects in the actual processor ID. So if CPU info equals nothing, then it will generate the CPU info. Properties of the processor ID. Dot the value to string. So all we generated to. And there we have it. So 
as we load the form for the application, it should generate the hardware ID in the label. And there it is. Excellent. So let's quickly use it in a license. So we've generated it, that works out alright. <clears throat> so this is a CPU ID for your CPU processor. Then we want to dim something as new by stream writer, reader, sorry. refer to the other video for this, I'm just trying to do it quickly. So you can see message box, no license. There are other ways to do it, but I prefer to do it this way because it seems to have a better handle. So the first line is going to be the um, hardware ID. Next one will be the user, like the other video. And then the next one will be our password. Already mismatch. All right. <clears throat> now we just quickly make the yes. Because we've got the file. Point seven eight BF BFF double O one double O F four two. File save. Okay. Now if we don't get a message box or anything, then we're alright. Seems to be alright, so let's put an else in this if message box. Correct. Alright, let's try again. Let's check the license, we have the license. And our uh, hardware ID matches. Excellent. Well, that's it for now, so that's pretty straightforward. So, if you have any questions, just post below and I'll give you a hand. Cheers for watching. See ya.